Is this working? Can't even tell. Live on Twitch? Hopefully it's live on YouTube. This is not a good start. Let's see. Please select category. Chatting. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. Look at that. All right. I am waiting to get picked up to go to Tesla Buena Park. Crap. I'm not smooth. I'm like jumping. I did the drop off point. I got a water. Transmission is unstable due to. See how this goes. Be strong today. Network connection. Oh, I'm gonna just put it in there. Like, eh? 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 Come on, T Mobile 5G. Where's your connection? Where's the connection? Is it stable now? How about now? Can anybody hear me? The camera quality looks really good. I don't know if I'm on YouTube though. Like, all I see is Twitch stuff. Uh, enter text for chat, no. Uh, uh, what's this? Video only mode. Oh, what are we getting today? Mr. Model Y, can I hear you? Can you hear me? Perfect, sweet. Oh, that's all, that's so cool. I can see YouTube chat and Twitch chat. That's cool, actually, sweet. All right, cool. Uh, what model are we getting today? We're about to find out. I just called the Uber. So it's gonna, it should be here. It should have been here like, should be here in like five minutes. But the funny thing is I just saw the Uber. It's actually another that they got going. I'm just waiting. I just walked a lot. Can you recognize it? I'm on a Technology Boulevard Day. But yeah, this is Irvine. I think the test is going to come this way. Transmission is unstable due to this just this area right here is just weak and then once we uh once we get out of here it'll be a lot stronger but i'm not going to i'm picking up a tesla but i'm not going to the irvine uh, tesla irvine location i'm actually going to a different one uh that's like 20 minutes away so we're gonna hop into an uber really quickly and then be on our way to the tesla service center okay the Tesla that's picking me up has a license plate 8BBX. So hopefully I don't jump in like some random person's Tesla. That would be bad. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. Perfect. Car. Thanks. Tesla. Um. Thousand 
Gonna go pick up a Tesla right now. That's oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, for service, you put it or? Uh... No, I just I uh, just did a new car delivery. Yeah. What model? Uh, the well, I'm. Um, oh, okay. It's, uh, Don't. It's, it's definitely one of the nicer ones. I've had a Model Three before though. Uh, Model Three is really cool. It's like a, it's it's all around. It's like a really good daily driver for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. This one's clean too. It's not bad for three thousand miles of. Oh, it's a beautiful car, man. Yeah. My Model Y March 1st has the Intel. Nice, still loving them. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What color did you get? Um, sorry, I'm talking to my friends. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's blue. <laughs> yeah, blue is really cool though. I, my yeah. Model Y was blue. That's blue, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's like one of the best. Did you get it like ceramic coated or anything like yeah. that? Nice. Do you like full time Uber or just like oh? My only gig, bro. Wow, Uber with a Tesla. That's that's the way to do it. It's a lifestyle, my friend. Yeah. That's what it is. No maintenance, no gas, just profit. Yeah, everything zero, bro. <laughs> So we're like 20 minutes away, give or take. How's the connection? Yeah, this is Prism, and I guess I'm on both. But it's like, there's the front camera, and then... Right now already, so it's already pretty stable. Midnight silver, nice. Thank you, Ben. We're on our way right now, so it's like another 20 minutes. Then you'll get to see it in it, it's all its glory. But I'm actually, I'm actually funny, it's, I'm in an Uber right now in a Tesla. In a Tesla Model 3. Tesla family. Yeah, Tesla family, exactly. <laughs> You're right, my video did say not to get a Tesla. <laughs> Yes, Anthony, you hit it right on the mark. It was a transferred reservation. I'm gonna make another video on like exactly how I got into that, but uh, it's transfer reservation. It seemed like everything is going smoothly and I'm just gonna drive off the lot with it. And you're about to see in a second. Oh, a Cybertruck would be sick. Maybe later this year. Not sure if I'm early in line enough to get it. Ooh. Anthony, I actually did not have too much trouble transferring it into my name. I was definitely a lot, a lot of anxiety throughout weeks and days until delivery, but I um, was able to call in and just get it switched. But it's very, uh, 
your miles may vary. Some people will have trouble trying to like transfer, but some people won't. Uh, and then I heard like Tesla's like cracking down on it, but it's still possible. Yeah. 
to the DMV.
passengers, you don't uh, autopilot? Um, if it, they, when they ask me, I could get like jerky and like people get like dizzy. It doesn't really drive itself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just pull over, they jump here. Oh, that's cool yeah, actually. By himself. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder how many people have bought a Tesla after riding in your Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> I was like, no, just download the app and order it, dude. It's yeah. easy. It's easy, yeah. Put your referral code, but you don't get miles anymore, but yeah. Uh, get your Tesla, bro. Yep. Just in time. Yes, you are. We just got off the exit. We are pulling. If you look at my story, Elon was in there. Not lying. You can drop me off wherever. Doesn't matter. If you I, just just... Don't, I just don't want to flip it because it says no U turn. Oh, really? Just in case the officer is sitting right there. Oh, right, right. You know what I mean? Of course. Okay. Yeah, Walking right, man. Thanks so much. How do you open this door? Uh, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I almost everywhere. <laughs> All right, see ya. Thanks so much. All right, let's just stage right here really quick. The white bottle wire. Time, no car through finance or loan. Uh, typically, loan is like 60 or 72 months. Was it a 2D or 3D Elon? It was a paper Elon, so it was uh, just a 2D Elon.
All right, just kidding. I didn't get a Model Y. Okay, now I'm like, holy crap. There is a lot of white, white Teslas here. Like, holy crap. The color of choice. Let's go find it. Actually, I know exactly where it is. Every process went. I actually got here a little bit early. I just had to drop off a car. But this is Tesla Buena area back there where I had to like go and wait in line and um, give them my check. Uh, and then after they like finalized the paperwork, I signed some stuff and then they brought me out to this lot where they, all the Teslas are. And. I'm still getting weak connection. Let me chill for a little bit. How's the connection now? Is it stable? What else? Stable? All right, let me go walk to it. I think it's stable. No? No? Still not? Video keeps pausing. It's okay. Still small hiccups on the stream. I think it should be good now. Hopefully you guys heard uh, the whole process of picking it up. Good, good. I don't have that notification anymore, so it still should be good. All right. All right, well, thanks for everybody for joining the anticipation in that Uber ride. This is my latest Tesla that I just picked up today. Let me flip the camera. 2022 Tesla Model Y Long Range because it's also a white one. <laughs> so this is the cheapest configuration that you can actually get. It's uh for the plaid, unfortunately. But this one I paid this increase of eighty eighty thousand ish with the um, the Tesla destination or something like that. I also got the base base nineteen inch rims because I couldn't afford the arachnids. The arachnids were like four thousand uh, dollars, but the really cool OS is they just updated you can see the bulb the model y performance of the some of the model threes actually already have this but they awesome. thank you thank you they currently already have like the bolt so this is like the new matrix like led headlights so this like literally this change just happened like literally weeks ago so it's it's nuts wait is this applied this is the s i misspoke he's drunk who's drunk this is an S, a Model S long range, which still goes like zero to six, three seconds supposedly, but Model S long range, got the 19 inch rims. And I was just talking about the headlights that are like the LED. On top of that, they also just did the updated tail lights as well, which you can see it's a little bit misaligned right there, which is actually kind of funny. But this is like the new taillights and also the newest charge point, charge port, which is like bigger. It was it used to be like this little small one, but now it's a bigger one. So you can put like the lock on it and stuff like that as well. 
Uh, but I just realized I can't actually unlock it unless I go to the Tesla app. So, which might interrupt the stream. But here it is. I, I did a walk around early. Like uh, interior and conditions. Here you can kind of see there's like some residue of some like weird like sticky stuff. Uh, what was the outdoor price? The outdoor price was $87,000 with California OC change. I'm definitely going to make a breakdown, payment, term, interest rate, and everything. Uh, payment gaps even on the small production models. Yeah, there's, I mean, it, it's kind of expected at this point. Like, um, you know, Tesla is not a luxury car. It's a uh, technology car. So it's just gonna be issues no matter what. I mean, I'm, I'm like okay with it. The first mod I'm definitely gonna do, well, I'm actually gonna take it directly to the detail and ceramic shop on Monday, but then I'm gonna remove, I might just ask them to do it, see if they'll be cool enough. Remove my front license plate because you definitely have to make, you definitely have to remove it to make it look good. But I just love the front profile of this thing. It's like nuts. Like, look how like wide and aggressive that is. That's like, look at ready. Look, here's the pan shot forward. <laughs> yeah. A sick stance, in my opinion. Uh, check paint. Friend picked up a plaid yesterday and had s several deep scratches. What color did he get? Because like, it's even though it's like super bright right now, like I um. I can't really see too many like surface scratches, but I bet there's like spider scratches like all over this. Yeah, you can kind of see it here and there. Which now I'm wondering, do I even need to get it like ceramic coated or detailed? Because usually on other colors, I guess you can see like faint scratches all along the top, but this one I definitely have. Oh, hold on, someone's pulling in. Uh, love the new interior. Yeah, the new that, the new interior like really sold me. It's funny. Me and Corgi went to the Tesla showroom in Century City, and I sat in this in a Model S, a new one. I was like, holy shit, this is actually like really good update to all the different features. But yeah, blue is super nice. I wish I got a blue, but I can't afford it. White is free, and so is the black interior. I really wanted the white interior inside, but can't afford that. Yet. All I can afford is a base Model S uh, for now. Will I tint the windows? Yes. Uh, I have to contact my, what's his name, Ben? All right, OC Tint Solutions, Josh. I gotta hit him up because I'm gonna make another video with him and I'm definitely gonna tint like the front windshield and the sides and everything on this Model S. Uh, full pre pre wrap I can't afford that, Mitch. Mitchell, that's so expensive. That's like $6,000 for a full PPP. PPP. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna tint the windows in like a ceramic tint, probably like 15% on the sides and then like 50% uh, on the front. Um, the last card had some panel gap issues. Yeah, this one seems to be okay. Like you can kind of see on the side right here. Uh, everything seems to be aligned for the most part. Um, but uh, yeah, how long did I wait for this baby? Not too long actually. I'm gonna make a video. If you've seen some of my recent videos, about like transferring Tesla reservations and stuff. Uh, I was able to find someone that was able to kind of like um, hook it up, so to speak. So I transferred the reservation to my name in January and then um, I got it uh, right now actually. So it wasn't too long of a wait and uh, I, got, I was super fortunate to get it all hooked up. Yeah, Jason, that's it. Jason at OC Tint Solutions. If you guys need tint, his work is like stellar. You cannot beat it. Like literally his tint film goes like straight to the window edge. And it's like, it's like it looks like factory OEM. So yeah, we're rolling up to Arena this weekend. Uh, yes, are we going to Arena this weekend? What's this weekend? Will you black out the T emblems? Oh, actually I just noticed that. That's funny, the, the Tesla emblem right there. Some people have reported that they haven't been getting that, but it's actually, it's, I have it. And now I want to black it out. That's a. That's a really good idea because it's sticking out. Like this is already blacked. This is blacked. Ow. Like I might as well just black out the rest. 
I will watch my videos transferred. Yes, so there is a subtle Tesla hack in which you can actually transfer uh, Tesla reservations. Uh, especially if you find someone with like the definitely worth it if you find someone willing to sell or transfer into your name or paying whatever. Oh, flexing the Model S. Oh no 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 no. Can't drive around K Town. Uh, my red looks awesome after three years. No maintenance for ten years. Red is awesome. I wish I could afford the red. The red paint is like ridiculous. Are you planning on keeping this for years or trading it in a few years? Well, my first Tesla I had for 18 months. It was a Tesla Model 3. Tesla Model 3, 18 months. Uh, my, I got a Model Y right after that and I kept it for seven months. So my Tesla ownership periods have been trending down. So we'll see uh, how long I actually keep this one. But I don't know, who knows? I, if I fall in love with this one, then it'll be good. But if, if I don't, then I might, I don't know, we'll see. I do, now that I'm about to get a Model S, or now that I've purchased a Model S, I so if I can get the Model X at like a hacked lower price, that might be the move next. And then if the Model X is not too big, I might just try and keep that for for as long as possible. And speak of the devil, there's actually a I, I half joked. So I have a friend that works for Tesla that actually helped me out a lot through this. I half joked with him saying that I switched to a Model X like right today, but uh, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, this is a Model X. I haven't seen any five seaters, but um, this would be the dream right here. This Model X, Model X got the cheaper rims. This is the cheapest Model X you can actually get. It's white paint which is free, black interior which is free, 19 inch rims which I think it's like the cheapest and it probably doesn't have full self driving or anything so this is it right here for sure. Alright so yes, I need to figure out if I can unlock this without killing the stream but yeah Model X is definitely sexy but, but the weird thing with the Model X is that you can't really tell like that it's a mo it's a newer Model X and actually it's if you look at the Model X and the Model Y they they, they look the same actually <laughs> all right what, all right guys which one is the Model X and which one's the Model Y quick do you have a home charger I'm on the fence on where to get one or not not the Model S but the Model Y yes we we I live in an apartment so we share a home charger with like a bunch of other people we all fight to the death for it but yes i do have a home charger um for it but we fight to the death uh not the model s but the model y i'm super excited for you guys thank you thank you can't wait to go on some road trips and not pay for gas this combo right here the red with the white interior that's the most expensive combo you can actually get and it's a plaid or a lead. All right, I'm carrying this back in. Let me see. Without, uh, without killing the stream. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Uh, I gotta like be quick. Uh, do we die? I'm like trying to switch back and forth between the Tesla app so I can get it. Did, did we die? All right, that's the problem with iPhone. Like, if you switch apps, it kills. And now we're back, I think. Are we back? Let's take off this bat back. back sweet how many miles do i drive per year uh, about 1800 a month so my model y i bought it i think april of last year and i sold it seven months later with 15,000 miles on it. so we definitely drive a lot uh, go ahead and take delivery yes just open the door i had to switch apps to the tesla app and now we're back the door is now open 
don't know if you can hear the AC, but it is roaring in there. But that yoke is just nuts. Like, I, I don't know how, how long it's going to take me to get used to it, but I'm definitely going to make some videos on it, on um, the usefulness of it. Alright, well, let me... up the other side it's just gonna unlock the I mean it's just gonna close the whole door oh that's interesting this is like off white inside all right now let me close that other side no carbon spoiler because it's plaid Yoke steering wheel, super nuts. Like, the first time I got into the Model S, like I didn't realize how big this yoke steering wheel actually is, but it is massive. Yeah, there's a couple things when I first got the Tesla, you gotta check for. You gotta make sure that you get this uh, top trunk rear thingy. So I got that and then some people have also noticed or said that they don't they haven't got this these covers either but i got both of that one weird thing that i kind of noticed here is there's this like you guys see this like it looks like it got like damaged or something and it's funny they left this arrow right here because they forgot to take it off but this is i wonder if this is gonna like rust or something let's see if i can get as close as possible it looks like it got it impacted and there's like this weird gooiness on top of it so i guess to like try and keep it like sealed but i don't know i don't know what it is if you know what this is please put it in the comments or the chat if you know. but it looks like i wonder at some point did the trunk kind of close down right here and like impact it i wonder if that's what happened i mean i'm not know too concerned about it it's like such a small area but uh yeah it's weird is this a lr or a plaid this is a long range i definitely could not afford the plaid that's like a hundred and like thirty thousand if not more now uh but yeah this is just the my paperwork inside he said that the long range does zero to sixty in 2.5 seconds but the plaid doesn't even how true that is but either way that's like stupid fast either way would i refuse delivery for any reason not really like the price i pay for this like beggars can't be choosers like i'm especially because i got the latest the latest headlights so and it on this the latest new matrix unless like there was like a huge dent on it i would refuse delivery but I, even then i would just take it to the service center and i would just would have them fix it or make sure it's like notated uh, but there really wasn't like any issues that i could see like you can see here on the side if there's any like gaps or anything um, like i mean it's just it's just like a little dirty and it could use like probably a good paint correction or detail which i'm taking it on monday so um yeah exactly they would make me pay the current price to reorder exactly and the current price is a lot more than what i was able to get this at so you mentioned that you had the model y why the switch to model s uh the model, model s my model y for seven months put fifteen thousand miles on it and i sold it for a fifteen hundred dollar profit so I figured why not get the S after that. Um, but yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to make sure uh, to double check on my like checklist. The control, how do I, I, like I haven't actually messed with this new UI. I sold my Model Y before they did all this update at Christmas time. So I have no, oh there it is, duh. The only other thing I wanted to like double check. There we go. The only other thing I wanted to like double check was the charge. Our first.
first open of the that was really aggressive actually but the charging can in the front just making sure we got it oh, perfect j1772 adapter with this 515 big adapter which we're definitely going to use ben we have to show you how to use it when you get back um, with that the new parking spot that we got J1772 adapter, I need this, so I'm gonna put this back. This front. Yeah, it's whatever. It's, it's not big, it's not actually small. It's probably like the same size. Um, but yeah. In the near future, they're no longer come with a charger. No way. Where'd you get that information from? That's that's nuts if they do that. You might as well just if I sell this, then I should just keep that charging set. That would be nuts. I wonder if the charger's like at least like a couple hundred dollars. But yeah. Panel gap. I mean, is this within spec? I mean, everything is almost within spec, right? It looks okay. Within spec? Is it within spec? It looks like it goes a little bit from like small to big. But that's okay. That's okay. We're okay. We're good. We're good. I love the black trim. I can't wait to tint this thing because. And the Tempest wheels, like, I feel like. I saw them, I was like, this looks really ugly, but like the 19 inch rims, like I, you can actually pull these covers off and there's like actually like good looking rims underneath it. Um, but like, I'm not complaining. I, I'd rather have the ride quality in my opinion. My friend that picked up his Tesla works for Tesla. Oh, then he probably got a pretty good price as well. Dang, Plaid, 134K. You consider we keeping the car out of the standard four to 50 year care warranty? You think things can go wrong? Yes, I actually don't like keeping my cars past like a year or two, like longest. I think the longest I ever kept my car was the Model 3. Before that, I would get out of cars within like six months to a year, just because like I have, I literally have car ADD, like literally. They stopped giving us the NEMA 1450 adapter a long time ago. Oh shit, yeah, Just keep mine then. <laughs> Haven't been into a new Model S. The seats are super nice. They're, they they really did a good job with updating everything in this car versus the old one. I mean, the old one hasn't been updated for a bit. AC is still running. Put this thing down. I've been holding it for like a bit. Uh, the $30 adapter. They stopped giving out the NEMA fortune. Oh, I see. The plug, the thing that you plug into it, they stopped giving it out. Oh, geez. Luckily, I have one of them. This is the. 10 to 30 adapter. I got one of them for later, just in case there's no chargers at the apartment. Keep, I mean, that's staying in this car. So. But yeah, I haven't driven it yet. Like, this yoke is just insane. This, like, fighter cockpit thing. This new UI is nuts as well. Um, when I got in the car, these are the keys that it came with, and I was trying to figure out where the actual fobs were because I've never owned a Tesla with the actual fobs, but I had to like, let me see, open glove box. Oh, shoot. Oh, my backpack was blocked. Let's try again. Open glove box. Ah. So here are the two fobs. I came with like little Hot Wheels cars. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna ever use these. I barely even use the card, but it's just cool to have these, I guess. I might try and keep one of these as like a memento for my uh, my ownership of this. But yeah, black interior. Wish I got white, but I can't afford it. So I just got the cheapest Model S configuration that you could actually get which is the white exterior with the black interior 
but I'm thankful to not be to be done with gas. And back to electricity. They actually uh, they were charged they were supercharging it earlier, but now it has 80% of the battery. Um, so yeah, I have a whole bunch of adapters and a 30 1450 extension cord. Jeez, did you have to buy like a, a nicer extension cord just so like it wouldn't like I don't know if you're worried about like electrical stuff. I don't know. I feel like I. I'd be worried with cord and not um, and plugging in like a Tesla to it. But I lease the car. No, I did not. Uh, did not lease. I don't believe in leasing a Tesla because they actually have really strict like um, rules. Like you can't buy it at the end, which is silly. You have to turn it in, so you can't take advantage of the profits um, or anything like that. All right, so I'm like still getting used, to, still beautiful. Exactly, yeah. This, this car is is beautiful. Like I love the aggressiveness of it. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. Let's see, how do I turn the fan down? I haven't owned a Tesla for like four months, and I'm like completely lost. Like this is literally like a brand new car because they've changed so much with this like Tesla UI. It's like nuts. I'm like, I, I can like swipe stuff, right? Like if I do that, like this is like, this is nuts. I made a fantastic choice. Thank you. Thank you, Mitchell. Thanks for watching the stream. Thank you to everybody that's watching the stream and supporting. And I hope, I hope you're enjoying this like new car delivery and hitting the like, it supports the channel. Uh, but this is nuts. I mean, to go on a, Saturday or Sunday to the Tesla service center or sales center in Butter Park to pick up a car. There's like so many people here that are trying to pick up a car right now. Um, but it's uh, it's definitely nuts. But yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anything else? Anybody else want to see? So I think I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do that. Huh, huh. I guess I could try and just like leave it right here and like grab it. I don't know. Just a temperature change, uh, change setting. Ah, there you go. Congrats again. Check out your channel. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely check it out. I've been posting a lot of Tesla buying tips and tricks that I've discovered throughout my years of uh, of owning and buying a Tesla. This is my third Tesla so far. So have a good day, Hippo. Uh, how do you engage autopilot? That's a, that's a great question, actually. I, I want to say it's like here. Oh, I think it's this one. Like, do, do, push that. And then whoring, you don't actually push this. It's got, it's this little button right here, which, yeah. Yep, there's the horn. Oh man, someone's taking a delivery of Model X over there. That's sick. All right, so I think I'm gonna try and keep it like this. Oh, actually while we're, here's my sticker. It's really interesting that uh, even though there's an older price, the newer price right here, my order price is different. So I guess like maybe there's some rule that, this is actually not even the most updated price because the price on the website right now is like 99, I thought. And so it's uh, interesting that they give you a higher MSRP price. Even Am I right? Did I get a Plaid? No, I did not get a Plaid. I got the, uh, the, the cheapest Model S that I could possibly get a Model S long range with white exterior and black interior. Um, but yeah, thanks for subscribing, Mitchell. Let me do one more walk around and then we'll. So, if you have any questions on the build quality, it's your last chance to ask. That to see if they're like the the right matching tires or uh, 
It looks like it's legit. No curb rash? Can't tell. It looks just dirty. Uh, but yeah, white exterior. Change not flat. Uh, super aggressive. Wide and everything. White exterior with the black interior. I'm to try the ventilated seats. See if it's actually nice. Absolutely love on the Model S. Just this wide, wide, wide hip. Why do they deliver dirty cars? That's a great question because well, the Tesla delivery advisor definitely called me this morning confirming that I was actually going to come at 1030. And she's like, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to send it to the wash to get clean. And it, I mean, definitely doesn't really look like it's like super clean, but I mean, it's okay. I'm not complaining. It is what it is. All right, just making sure all these tires are the correct tires because Pirelli P0. Is that the one in the front? Okay, yeah, I think it's the same one in the front. Making sure none of my none of my rims are curved or anything like that. I really like how it comes with this like black metal frame because I usually buy like a black metal frame, but it's like uh, pretty cool that it actually comes up. I love that it's like the black um, diffuser at the bottom with the black applique in the middle, and of course the darker tail lights and everything. But um, but yeah, super drive after this. <sighs> what a day, what a day. Let's get out of space and time. All right. Ventilated seats. Yeah, my butt is hot, hot. Uh, let's see. Ventilated, ventilated seats. I'm it. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. That's it. So you push that button, and ooh, actually, ooh, that that is nice. That is uh, that is uh, very nice. My uh, nice and cool, cool, cool seats, cool seats, cool seats, cool seats, cool seats. Don't mind the handicap. They told me to park here. I swear. I swears. All right, let me adjust lumbar and everything. Uh, let me see if I can give you guys a better angle. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm streaming on an iPhone right now, guys, with the, the gimbal. It's actually, it's not bad. Like, everything has been good so far. Not Like, it's been stable, I think. Hopefully the footage is stable, not making you guys any d dizzy. Uh, I guess what with my Model 3 seats? Yeah. I've had the Model 3 and the Model Y. Definitely in California. All right, let me close this window. That's the one thing I forgot about the Model 3 and the Model S. It's, it's definitely lower. I've been driving an SUV for a little bit. But, uh, mirror auto tilt, sure, sure, sure. Mirror auto dim, sure. Okay. Okay, okay. Hi, Mitchell. Okay, so, let me go ahead and set the profile up. Uh, create driver. Looks like you're in a right-hand drive car. Yeah, I'm actually in uh, London right now. Picking up my, uh, huh? Okay. Picking up my Model S. Huh? Dennis? Okay. All right. All right, all right. I think we're good. Oh, let me connect my phone. Oh, I can't connect my phone because I'm streaming. Ha ha. Okay, never mind. That wasn't that funny. Oh, hello everyone. All right, let me see if I can get you guys a good angle of what's about to happen here. 
Hopefully I won't knock down. No, this is this is actually really tough. Let's see. Here. Okay, I'll just do like a quick drive and then I'll probably just end stream after that just to give you guys my first 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 EV family what's up looks like you're in right hand drive car yep all right okay let me just let me just try and stage this it's on like a mini tripod and then my phone's on top of that Unless, would you guys rather see my face, or would you rather see the yoke steering wheel? Like, from my initial reactions. I wish I could do, like, a dual cam setup. Alright, yeah, this. Uh, this This yoke is trippy. Like... It's, yeah, it's trippy. All right, let's try this. Okay, so there's no drive lever, right? So I think all you're supposed to do, key, put it here, push the brake. I thought it's supposed to like guess which direction you're supposed to go. Like, it's, I thought it's supposed to, like, once you push the brake, it's supposed to, like, look ar ar around you and just know where you're supposed to go. But, uh, I guess not. So I gotta swipe up. Okay, so now I'm in drive. Uh, uh, oh, man, I have not been in a Tesla for a bit. So this is what I... I'm in the parking lot, like, trying to, like, steer and stuff. But uh, it's it's okay. Like it definitely takes getting used to. You gotta like hand over hand or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Let me, let me get out of your way. This guy's uh, ready to go. I'm gonna turn down the let's see driving uh, suspension. Oh, auto. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got air suspension finally. Okay, let's see. Uh, pedals and steering, acceleration. Whoa, I've never even seen that. Do you guys know about this? Insane? There's chill for the acceleration mode. There's chill, sport, and insane. What the drag? Uh, am I in a, this is a long range, right? I thought only the plan had all these cool features. All right, I'm, I'm just chilling today. Steering wheel with comfort because I have weak arms, not sport heavy steering. I don't need any of that. Auto turn signals, whoa. I've like, I've been out of the loop. I've definitely been out of the loop because I have Okay, calibration in progress. Right. To the Tesla Buena Park team for letting me walk around with my camera everywhere. If any. Um, but uh, I don't know. Okay, this guy is, he's got a low BMW, so he's just like taking his time. I feel you. No worries. I'm not in a rush. I'm actually not. So I understand. Understand the feeling. Oh, he's like he's tripoding a little bit actually. Okay. It's uh, pretty steep. Steep, steep. Oh, oh, oh! All right. First drive. Yeah, that's plenty fast enough. Definitely fast enough. I'm not used to this. How do I, um, let's see, let's see, where's driving mode? Slip start, auto, mode, auto, suspension, no. Controls? Uh, charging, autopilot, single click, double. Where do I go for... Huh. Oh, that's right. There is no more settings for regen. 
It's only one. Okay. So that's that's pretty much it, right? Right? Quick controls. Camera. All right. I'm still in Buena Park. But yeah, this is uh, this is all very very new, very new for sure. Actually, I think I'm getting a little nauseous. Go to display and change the display to auto mode. Display auto? Auto. Oh, haha. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why that was like that. I guess maybe because they got this car at uh, delivery at nighttime. Holy crap. This thing is actually, like, I don't know why you would have more than fast enough. Like, there should be another mode for, like, less than chill. Oh, man. Now I got to get used to, like, this region. I've been driving ICE cars for like four to five months now and I am not used to regen at all. Not at all. I moved back to the USA, exactly. Now we're switching to this angle. It's it's much better. But yeah, my butt is cool because the ventilated seats, that's a new feature. I don't think I've ever took in delivery with all this plastic on the car either. Actually, yeah, that's right, because I've always had inventory cars with discounts. Or at least the Model Y was an inventory inventory car with a discount. But this is a brand spanking new with plastic all on it. So let's see. Okay, let me. There we go. This is nice. Ouch. Wait, dual climates? Dang. Actually, nice. Did I have dual climates on my last one? I can't remember anything about my last one anymore. Like, literally, Sport is, or now, insane, because this car is insane. Sport is only to show people, and that's, that's literally it. Literally it. But yeah, this is the first drive of the Model S long range. It feels really good to be back into a Tesla again. Um, I'm, before I get on the highway, I'm probably just gonna pull off really quickly. Yeah, actually, oh, that was weird. I went to go hit the turnstock to, uh... Jeez, this book is yoki. Yoki, yoki. This yoke is definitely gonna take some time getting used to. So also, like, that's... But, uh... I heard that when you roll to a parking lot like this and it's just a park and yeah I'm getting a stable uh, connect transmission is actually stable which is, how else would it be but yeah thanks for watching this uh, Tesla you, you definitely there's definitely gonna be a video on this but thanks for supporting thanks for watching and please hit that like if you enjoyed it and you want to support um, but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one I do have a lot of videos on buying a Tesla like tricks and tips so definitely check out that I saved like basically twenty thousand dollars on this Model S so it, I didn't make a video on how I did that yet but I definitely will but you can watch some of the other videos that I just released like in the past couple weeks. So you can see, uh, you can see how, how my, how I probably have gotten there, how I got there. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Have a great Sunday, everyone. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.